Hey, you beautiful buccaneers, Falcor here. So in case you missed it, in which case that's on you, not me, a mystery has been happening. And it's certainly a lot better this time round, rather than people data mining objectives and then pretending they figured it out for themselves. The Hoarders Hunt was released last Thursday, and the community went wild, and in most cases totally insane, trying to figure out its clues. And boy oh boy was this a tough one. Well, tough I don't think is the right word. It was just very intricate. Like, stupidly intricate. Like, staying up until 3am in the morning with 72 tabs open on your web browser, dressed in nothing but your underpants, eating noodles from a coffee cup intricate. Kind of self-projecting that. <laughs> so on the 7th of July, the Hoarder's Hunt went live, and everyone logged in confident to complete the riddle before everyone else. We were presented with a rhyming clue with random bold text. That didn't really mean anything, but at this point, this is all we had to go on. So about 30 minutes of jumbling the capital letters and trying to make sense of it all occurred. That was until, on the Sea of Thieves Instagram, they posted this picture. A real banana with a picture of the gold horse on it, who appeared to have some form of skeletal script on its chest, but was too blurry to make out. However, this picture linked us to another Instagram account called Banana Bruiser, and on this account, this person can be seen making this banana, and as you can see, as they are producing it, you can see these strange symbols appear. Now at this point, I didn't see the clue in the riddle, so I just reversed image searched one of these symbols, and I was able to figure out that they were called Pigpen Cipher images. The Pigpen Cipher, also referred to as the Freemason Cipher or the Napoleon Cipher, is a geometric substitution cipher, which exchanges letters from symbols which are fragments of a grid, a code used historically in many ages. Even pirates themselves would use it. Thankfully, in this day and age, we have a thing called the internet, and many websites to help us decipher such text. Upon putting the ciphers seen on the banana in order, it translated to bitly sockfruit. Now we determined that bitly is a website used for shortening URLs, so it was a simple case of turning this into a website address. And lo and behold, we were taken to an unlisted OneDrive folder that contained these images. More Pigpen cipher scripts chopped in half with the same Spotify logo in between each. This Spotify logo took you to the Sea of Thieves soundtrack on Spotify, and when watching certain tunes on a mobile device, a video played in the background that had glitches at certain times. Within these glitches were letters, and the letters spelt out BOUNTY. But back to the Pigpen ciphers, this one was a little more difficult, because Sea of Thieves, a few days earlier, had posted this image. A fruit crate with all the fruits in order on its side. This image turned out to be a cipher of its own, and was telling us to put the halves of these fruits together in the same positioning of this fruit crate. On doing so, we had an order of Pigpen ciphers that read, which which means, well, nothing. But we had this code and also the word bounty to go with. Now, this next part was total speculation, and my small team of code crackers went about finding a connection with another cipher system. Turns out there is a cipher cracking system called the Visionaire Cipher, which asks for a string of letters and a keyword to unlock it. So we tried it over and over again, with different combinations of the letters we got from the Pigpen Cipher. All we had was a string of new letters that made no sense. So we decided that we were just wrong and moved on. Now keep an eye on this strand of text, because in a moment, you'll see how close I came. A day passed, and then Sea of Thieves tweeted out this image, with a very strange ship title in the background, Ripe Green Chive. Now, I went down a different rabbit hole with this, and cannot take credit for it, but someone from the community realized that this was an anagram of Virginia Cipher, so it was confirmed we were on the right track all along. So again, back to the Visionaire Cipher. Trying different combinations, removing some fruit, adding some fruit, rotating some fruit, looking at a picture of a crab. Meanwhile, 10% of the Sea of Thieves Discord were on the right track, but 90% of them were still talking about the initial puzzle and some strange mentions to Donkey Kong, I don't know what the fuck. And then it happened. Someone figured it out. A Reddit user by the name of Jetlag Mark II. Remember this string of text that we found that we passed off as hundreds of other pointless strings of text? Well, turns out the code itself was also a riddle. By putting these letters together, you got 0 UTC 
45T. By turning those numbers into a numerical value, you get Outcast. The code for the website was late 90s internet leet speaking language for the word Outcast. Ah, <laughs> GG's. But what use was the riddle on the page, I hear you ask? Well, the bold text was pointing us in the right direction. Don't use common pirates, referring to the artist on Instagram known as Banana Bruiser. Foods and dark side, referring to the dark side of the banana where the cipher text was displayed. You must check in time, referring to the timestamps of the glitches seen on Spotify, which we were directed to from the banana. Pig in pen, referring to the pig pen cipher and tuneless drums of wood, referring to the Fruit Crate's Twitter post. Pictures paint a thousand words, referring to the images found on the OneDrive, and you must seek to link the two, using the Pigpen cipher and Visioneer cipher to link them. You see? Easy peasy. <laughs> and if you think that's hard, just remember, this is only level one.